Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Petro. I'm the CEO of Vacationaire. This is Ivan, Sarah, Doug, and Brent. And I just want to start off with a question. Who here is excited for summer vacation? <coughs> All right, well, everyone knows that this nice weather that we've been having lately is sort of a tease. And here at Vacationaire, summer is one of the prime times for people to take vacations, since everyone has vacation, their free time, and <coughs> like what I want to let you know is that summer, this summer we are expected to have a lot of sales, like record-breaking sales. And as our shareholders, today is all about you. We want to let you know what makes our company so unique and why your investment would be a good one with Vacation Air. So today, just to let you know, we're gonna be taking you through our company profile, our advertising campaign, some financials, and some other information things that you might find interesting. Here is Sarah with our services. Okay, so to begin, we came up with the idea for this company because everyone goes on vacation, um, whether it's winter break, whether it's summer, and when you're going on vacation, you can use like um, sites like Expedia, but usually they only take, they only let you plan like your flight information and your hotel. They don't really plan out like events that you can do during the day. They don't remind you of like your flights or anything. So we decided to create this um, website, Vacation Air, and what it is, it um, gives you travel arrangements, so it will book your flight, your car services, what you want to do during the day, if you want to make dinner reservations, and it will also give you tour guides, so if you want to, if you want someone to show you around the island because you're confused, we also have online assistance in case um, you don't know what you're doing online because sometimes websites can be confusing and you don't know if you're pressing the right button and you don't know what's fun to do in certain places and the people that are working will give you updates as to what some people have given positive feedback or negative feedback and we also give um, text alerts as to like if your flight's leaving in a few days like if we'll text you in the morning if you have an activity later at night that we want you to go to that you've signed up for previously and our values we want you to have a stress-free vacation because a lot of the time you get to vacation and you're stressed out because you don't know what to do on the island you're bored or you're out on the ski vacation and you haven't booked any of your tickets for the week for the mountain and so we're allowing you to book everything in advance and have it all bundled up so you know what you're doing every single day we also want it to be affordable because a lot of the times um you can get vacations and they'll be quite pricey when you're going for like skiing buying the ski packages and everything and we're gonna make it like we're gonna give you discounts if you bundle things together um, we also want you to be able to maximize your time so we want you to have fun what you're do with what you're doing and be able to hang out with family and friends instead of waiting in long lines and deciding where to go and having to ask the locals like what's good and what's not good and sometimes being disappointed with what you hear and we want you to have unlimited vacation possibilities. So we want you to be able to travel wherever you might want to. Um, and our mission statement reflects our values and our what we are. Um, and it's just um, here at Vacation Air. Um, we hope to provide the best vacation at an affordable price for people who want to maximize their sometimes precious time with friends and or family. Now, off to Ivan for the letterhead business card and Hi, everyone. My name is Ivan. I'm the manager of the marketing in Vacationaire. First, I would like to introduce our stationary designs. Before we started working on the stationary designs, we, what we came to our mind is we want to do something really attract people to let them think of our company when they first look at our stationary designs. So. Um, after working together for a few days, we came up with these designs. Um, the left hand side is a business card, uh, the right is the envelope, and this is uh, this is a letterhead with the um, message from CEO, we'll go back to it later. And um, we apply the craft principle in our designs. As you can see, our designs are strongly unified, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> because we use um, Repetition principle to make them um, to make people see them as a whole. Also, we chose white, orange, and blue color because we want them to have strong but beautiful contrast. Um, because we we think colors 
are the most important elements that can catch people's eyeballs. And in, this, in, in addition, we put the orange bar to the right. These designs can help our customers to concentrate on the text, which is on the, which should be left alignment, as you can see on the letter head. Um, it's clear and uh, pretty simple. So now um, our CEO, Andrew, has a message for us. So I'm just going to reiterate what I have written here to our stakeholders. And by stakeholders, I mean anybody that influences our company in a positive way. So to start, we want to make sure that our customers, first of all, have the best experience possible. Because we believe that <coughs> if we get our customers to have a good experience, then this will give us a sustainable competitive advantage and make us like one of the major players in our field. So if this happens, then it'll in turn give our shareholders the maximization of wealth. So basically, we want to put our customers and our shareholders first because those are the ones that are helping our company and we wouldn't be there without them. So thank you for listening and this is Ivan finishing up our advertising campaign. So this is our latest advertisement design. Um, <clears throat> a few weeks ago, I talked with our CEO Andrew and CFO Sarah about how to increase our popularity. Um, for an uh, upcoming company like us, we think that having um, advertisement is the most straightforward way, so we decided to post it in, the, in a month. We chose to post this advertising on our websites, newspaper, magazines, and subways. We hope this can help us increase the awareness of our company. And our budget for the advertisement is 7% of our gross sales, which should be about 70,000 per year. And for this design, for this design, um, our CEO and CFO talk about using the peach, uh, the, the beach and the oceans that we use on our logos. But we finally chose a bird view from uh, a plane window because we think that as a vacationer, as a bike traveler, we need to take a plane <coughs> to, take a tra uh, to, to go to traveling. So um, this is a great start of a vacation. So we want our customers to think of their vacation should be like that. And also an, an upcoming plane can be um, a symbol for our company because we are also racing very rapidly so that we, um, our R&D department <coughs> manager, Brent and Doc, chose this picture for me and I put the picture and the slogan together. We, then we came up with this nice advertisement. And also we put the um, slogan on the bottom, live every day like a vacationer because we want our customers to think if they choose our product, they can live their life like a vacationer. So this is our um, advertising campaign. Now, um, Sarah is going to talk about more the financial conditions. Okay, so for our finances, we first looked at um, the market share and we put us against the five top grossing um, travel websites and we're the orange one right there. And when we first start, we're obviously not gonna expect it to be a top market share, but we're still at, um, it should be around 16% if you divide it equally. And in our first few years, we'll be around that. But as you can see in 2013, we're gonna be like the top three market share. We're gonna have like 19% and the more market share you have, the more profits you'll make because that just means that people are used buying your products more. And we also show, wanted to show um, our operating cash flows. And as you can see, they're all positive. And what um, you'll learn in finance is that um, when you have like operating cash flows, if you like net present value it back, if it's still positive, you're supposed to take on a project. And when we net present valued all these and added it together, it was a positive um, net present value. So that means that the investors would be making a profit if they invested more in our 
company. And this is just com like compliments we've gotten from magazines. All right, so for our future, we looked for international travel as our big thing. We want to have not only major cities that you can go to, but we also want remote areas. And that's great for two different types of people. Because not everyone is going to travel to Paris or to Madrid and places like that. People have family in other parts of the world, and they might not be near one of these major cities. And if we can get you to go visit your family more often, that's more travel for us. So, and it's also great for a person like me, who doesn't just need to go to Paris. Like, I wanna see the world. I wanna see parts that you don't get to see just, in a, just by opening a magazine. I want to see the places like in South America that are hard to reach you, but I wanna have a plan when I get there. And that plan is what we do. We also wanna become the leader the number one leader. We are getting there, and you could see our market share is increasing, but we want to be it. We want to be the top. We don't want there to be any, any competition, anyone that can say that they're just as good as us. We want to be the top. We also want to maximize your money. Like Andrew said, you know, you guys invested in us, you became a part of our family. And you know, we treat that with a lot of respect. And you know, like we said, you know, our big thing is family always pays back its debt. And that's what we try to do. We try to get everything that you put into it and more. All right, um, one thing we do is we have an account membership. And when you sign up for it, you kind of make it a personalized profile, which puts in your, what you like to do, uh, the places you want to go. And we send you emails of occasional deals for those places. And we're not just going to send you like a a uh, vague occasional deal for places you don't want to go. We don't want to put these emails in your inbox and have them spam up. We don't want that. So we want you to feel like these are personalized for you. These are directly for you. And then we also offer other benefits. And these other benefits include things like a subscription to our travel magazine. And Doug will talk a little bit about what goes into that, a little bit something that makes it personalized to us and Vacationair. Um, which is very good. And then we also have a point system. And these point systems, kind of like a Coke Rewards or things like that, you use them and you put those points that you get after coming back and have become a valued member. And you can use them on your travel. You know, Like the occasional deals, you get extra points that you can use to fill up space. Now here's Doug. All right. uh, good evening, everyone. So one of the things we try to do is uh, to get the best customer satisfaction to keep improving vacation air, uh, we decided to come up with a standard uh, customer satisfaction survey. And um, to get participation encouraged, uh, we decided to give rewards like the point system. And um, so what we do is you fill out the survey and then you're automatically put into a lottery. And if you're lucky, then uh, you'll get some free stuff. And uh, we're still trying to work out the logistics of it, but um, we're thinking of maybe um, sending you and three other family members to wherever national place you want to go uh, will include uh, just flight and uh, hotel. And then um, one thing that we want to do is uh, we want to stress and make sure everyone knows that we are a company family. We care about everyone in the company. We care about their families as well. And it's uh, one of our main values and uh, we try to enforce that as best we can. And one of the ways we do that is we try to include an employee family day um, at least once a year, uh, usually when the, warm, the, the weather's warm. 